This guide shows you how to install the Samsung A30 Smart Lock. Check the door lock model and components and take out the deadbolt and screws from the box. Before installing the unit, check the door thickness, the diameter of the borehole, the edge borehole, the back set length, and the mortise depth for the deadbolt faceplate. The lock reaches down 2 to 3 quarter inches from the center of the borehole. Check the door condition to see if there is any misalignment. Remove the existing deadbolt lock and verify that the door thickness and the deadbolt hole size match the recommended sizes. In case the door was never fitted with a deadbolt, use the template to drill a deadbolt hole. To install the strike plate, check the holes. Place the strike box on the door frame. If you have a window frame next to your door, you may not be able to use the longer screws to install the reinforcer. If there is no interference, tighten the two screws. Secure the strike plate to the strike box with the two screws. While installing the deadbolt, the door should always be open and the deadbolt should be in the open position. Check the back set length first to install the deadbolt. Make an adjustment in length depending on the back set on the door if necessary. Put the bolt in place with the word up facing up. Make sure the bolt is leveled. Use the pair of provided screws to fasten the bolt to the door. Close the door and test if there is any interference with the strike plate when opening and closing the deadbolt by turning the screwdriver in the cross hole. To install the exterior unit, pull the connector cable out above the deadbolt and insert the two shafts of the exterior unit into the two holes in the deadbolt. Remove the tailpiece cap from the interior mounting plate. Detach the interior mounting plate from the interior unit. Pull the exterior unit cable out through the square hole of the interior mounting plate. Press the plate against the door and push the cable into the cable hook in zigzag manner. If the cable is not properly secured to the hook, the cable can be damaged while installing the interior unit. Align the interior mounting plate and hold in position while tightening the three screws lightly to avoid bending of the plate. Check the alignment of the exterior unit. Fasten the plate to the door by tightening the screw on the top center of the plate. Use the cover pin to push the battery cover hole on the top of the interior unit to open the battery cover. Plug in the cable from the exterior unit to the circuit board of the interior unit and arrange the cable so that it's not twisted or pressed flat. Please ensure the cable is properly connected to the circuit board. Otherwise, the connector damage and malfunction may occur. Before installing the interior unit, check if the thumb turn of the interior unit is placed at the center. While the deadbolt is in the open position, the tailpiece should be vertical. Insert the tailpiece of the interior unit vertically into the cross hole in the deadbolt. Open the screw cover on the bottom of the interior unit. Fasten the interior unit with one screw at the top and one screw at the bottom. 
close the screw cover on the bottom. Insert the battery bracket to the groove and lower it to hold the batteries in place. Insert door direction auto setting starts and the deadbolt comes out and goes back in. Master pin code is set to 1234 by default. Change the default master pin code to prevent unauthorized access. Press the registration button once. When the touchscreen is illuminated, enter the default master pin code 1234 and press the asterisk. Press 1 followed by the asterisk to manage authentication methods. Press 1 followed by the asterisk to change a master pin code. Enter the new master pin code and press the asterisk. Master pin code must be between 4 digits and 12 digits. Close the battery cover. Press the lock unlock button on the interior unit to check if the thumb turn works properly. While the door is closed, check if the deadbolt is operating normally without interfering with the strike plate. Check if the door opens with the master pin code. Check if the deadbolt is operating smoothly without getting stuck in the strike plate when closing and locking the door. Close the door and check if the door is locked by touching the touchscreen from the outside. Press the lock unlock button on the interior unit and check if the door is locked by turning the door handle from the inside. Open the battery cover located in the interior part of the unit using the cover pin. Then press the registration button once. When the touchscreen is illuminated, enter the new master pin code and press the asterisk. Press 1 followed by the asterisk to manage authentication methods. Press 2 followed by the asterisk to manage a user pin code. Press 1 followed by the asterisk for additional registration. Enter a user ID number from 1 to 50 and press the asterisk to register the user PIN code. If you skip entering the number by just pressing the asterisk, the user ID number will be automatically assigned from 1 to 50. It will be displayed on the keypad. Enter a new user PIN code and press the asterisk. Enter another user ID number or press the registration button to finish. Open the battery cover located in the interior part of the unit using the cover pin. Then press the registration button once. When the touchscreen is illuminated, enter the new master pin code and press the asterisk. Press 1, followed by the asterisk, to manage authentication methods. Press 3, followed by the asterisk, to manage user fingerprints. Press 1, followed by the asterisk, for additional registration. Place your finger on the fingerprint sensor and hold it until you hear a beep sound. During this process, you may lift and rest your finger slowly for better recognition. You will be asked to repeat this step three times to fully record the fingerprint. You will hear the fingerprint registered message at the end. As fingerprint is registered, the user ID number 
will be automatically assigned from 1 to 50. It will be displayed on the keypad. You can place another finger on the fingerprint sensor for additional registration or press the registration button to finish. You can download the Samsung Smart Lock app from Google Play or Apple App Store. From the main page, tap on the plus button. Select the door lock among the ones detected and input a door lock name. Before registering the door lock, Check that both the Wi-Fi and the location settings are enabled. For Android users, please also verify that the mobile data setting is turned off. Check you have the Wi-Fi password at your disposal and that the Wi-Fi signal at the door location is strong enough using your smartphone. Close the door and open the battery cover. Press and hold the registration button for 5 seconds until you hear the voice. When you hear the voice, move to the next page. Wait until you hear a beep sound, then confirm the event on your smartphone app. Go to Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi network that starts with Samsung door lock. Go back to the app screen and tap the Next button. Select your home Wi-Fi router and enter password. Android users need to turn on mobile data. It takes about 30 seconds to register. Tap the locked icon at the center of the main page. To remotely unlock, press and hold the lock icon for two seconds until the purple bar is fully circling the icon. On the main page, go to Settings and then Shared User. Tap Plus on the top right-hand corner. Tap Create Invitation Code button at the bottom. Enter the name of the invitee. Once the invitation code is created, tap the Share This Code button to send the code via text message to the user. The invitee will be required to download and install the app by clicking on the link provided in the text message. Tap the I'm Invited button at the bottom of the main screen. Enter the invitation code to gain access and be able to control the door lock through the app. On the main page, go to Settings and then tap Temporary PIN Code Manage. Tap plus sign on the top right corner. Enter a name for the temporary PIN code. Enter PIN code 4 to 12 digits to be issued. Set the period, day, and time, and tap Next button at the bottom. Tap Share button to send a text message with temporary PIN code to visitors. You can receive real-time notifications when family members or visitors open the door lock using their PIN code, mobile app, or fingerprint. You can receive a notification and also view it on the main page when battery is low. With 9 volt battery in contact with the emergency power contactor on the exterior unit, use the fingerprint or enter the user PIN code. Make sure the batteries are connected in the specified direction.
If you heard the voice, replace the batteries, be sure to replace all existing batteries with new ones. Check if the cable connection between the interior and exterior units is properly connected to both units. Check the cable for nicks or damages. Check if the cable connection between the interior and exterior units is properly connected to both units. Register additional fingerprints to check if it works. Check if the cable connection between the interior and exterior units is properly connected to both units. Check the cable for nicks or damages. Determine the root cause of the error by leaving the door open and checking the lock first. If the door lock is working, then check the door. Change the strike part where the deadbolt is caught or adjust the striker position. Check if the cable connection between the interior and exterior units is properly connected to both units. Check the cable for nicks or damages. Press and hold the registration button for 5 seconds. You can hear voice notification when the Wi-Fi module is installed correctly. Replace the Wi-Fi module to see if your Wi-Fi connection is working. Remove the Wi-Fi module and insert it back into the same slot and check if the battery life is improved. Always remove the batteries first before replacing the Wi-Fi module. Check the cable for nicks or damages.